Not all of us are surrounded by beautiful locations because we don't all live in big cities, beach towns, or rural paradises, but that shouldn't stop us from getting beautiful portraits of either ourselves or our clients. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get photos like these in a location like this. By implementing what I am about to show you, you'll be able to train your eyes to find the beauty around you in order to get the shot no matter where you are. Let's get to it. My first tip for you is to look for a nook. And I didn't mean to rhyme, but hey, it works. Look for a nook, and by a nook, I mean a small area that is part of the environment as a whole that you can really focus on and frame your picture with. So personally, I like to gravitate towards cool walls or any kind of plants or foliage. And then I just place either my model or myself in front of the cool wall or in front of the cool plant slash foliage. And something to keep in mind training wise for your eyes is look for small details rather than the environment as a whole, because you'd be surprised what small beautiful areas you can find in an area that overall doesn't look the best when you're looking at the whole picture. So that's my first tip, look for the nook. My next tip is to keep it simple. So rather than looking for something interesting or small details of beauty, I'm gonna ask you to look for nothing at all. And what I mean by this is get some negative space in your photos by finding either blank walls or backgrounds that have one or two tones. So this way, whatever your subject is, whoever your subject is, will pop out in the photo and the background will be clean and less distracting. Before I move on to the next tip, I would just like to remind you that if you are new here and you like what you see so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become part of this tribe, especially if you're interested in more photography tips, gear reviews, and adventure videos. Cause I got you if you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I can't help. My next tip for you is to lower your aperture. If your location truly isn't offering you anything, you can't find any nooks, there is no simple backgrounds, then maybe your best bet is to make your location obsolete by blurring it out. And to do this, you'll have to lower your aperture and bring your subject a little closer to the camera so that way the background is blurred out and all the focus goes on to the subject and your location doesn't even matter at that point. Moving on, my next tip is also for those who are in a location that is truly not offering them anything and it is to use some backlighting to get a sick lens flare that distracts your viewer from the location. And for those of you who don't know, backlighting is when you place your subject in front of the sun, whether it's during sunrise or sunset. So what this does, it kind of creates this angelic glow that comes from behind your subject and obscures the background. So your location won't even matter at this point and your photo will be spiced up and your subject will be glowing in a way that they never glowed before. It's a really good hack to use if you're not 100% sure if you like what your location is offering you. A quick tip, if you're taking photos of yourself and you want some backlighting but you're not sure if you're getting the effect you want, one hack that I use is I make sure that my shadow is on my camera lens and this way I know that the camera is not getting sun directly into the lens. Instead, it is getting my shadow, so I know that I won't be completely blown out, but I'll still have that angelic glow behind me. My last tip for you today has more to do with the subject themselves than what you're doing with the camera, and it is to wear a cool outfit. So, Cool is a very subjective word. Just wear whatever you're comfortable with or have your client wear whatever they are comfortable with. Just make it a bit nicer. It doesn't need to be over the top. Just something that is nice enough that the photo doesn't depend on the background in order to be interesting. This way you can really focus in on your subject but still get a good shot. And to do this, you can mess around with different prints, different styles, different jewelry, hairstyles, 
anything, just have fun with it. I think that is the point of art ultimately and photography ultimately is to have fun and good, good shots that you are proud of. And with that, that is all I have for you today in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.